One more video, fastest lap of session three. Here we go. Start finish straight again, turning down into the first turn. You hit that apex really yeah. well there. And again, hit it really well. So you're learning each time. Those those sections were really fun too. So it was cool to hit the apexes for once. <laughs> Yeah, no, you, you did awesome right through there. It looks like you still go wide Pretty again. Pretty wide here. Pretty wide. But and look at that. Here comes the cone. You you hit that pretty nice. Away, yeah. that, that's yeah, the water hadn't been there in that section. I definitely could have gone harder. Right, and I'm sure someone will say, oh, you could go over the water, no problem. But, I mean, the instructors were clearly telling us, stay away, because yeah. you will spin. So. Yeah, I wasn't going to play around with that. Yeah. Back straight, following along the edge, turn in, looks, eh, you missed that a little bit. Missed that one. I think I almost forget about that first one until looking at the other two. Right. Kind of missed that the last one there, probably better than the first session, but I don't think it was as good as the second. Yeah, I, don't, I think that whole section was worse than the second. Let's see what your top speed comes to here because that's interesting because this is your fastest lap, but mm -hmm. you may have even lost some time there. So you, right. you know there's time on the table. 94, 95. Oh, yeah. 95. 95 so, I had 96 the right. last time. So, I started breaking. Here. That one mile an hour, you know, it's, you know, imagine if you get an even better turn out mm -hmm. or a uh, corner out and you. Uh, gain three, four, five miles an hour over that. Like, that is clear time that you are cutting. So here we come up to start finish again. This session was 153.06. So four, yeah, 4.7, or no, four seconds better than the first, than session. The first session. I mean, clearly improved. And we didn't really mess with any settings. I mean, this was all just you learning the track. Yeah, we didn't change any tire pressures. We didn't change the dampening on the coilovers. We just, yeah, that's right. just we learned for it. Because yeah. you don't get much time in between sessions at these track nights. It's right. just go, go, go. You feel like, oh, there's plenty of time. There's like 20, 30 minutes. And there probably is 20 minutes. Mm. But it, it goes by so fast. And they call <laughs> you and you have to go back out. So. Yeah. All right, so a bit more in depth on fastest lap session three. This first turn in, I think you did. Pause it there. Yeah, see, I really hit that left side really good and then come up to the next one and I also clip, get very close. So I think it, it definitely was way better. Probably the best out of the three, I'd say. Totally agree. That really set me up pretty well, I think. Well, cause right, it sets you up good for this here, right at the apex, just past the mm -hmm. apex. Look at the angle of your car. Right. And you start to, you're pointing straight at this apex now. Mm -hmm. Whereas before, if you recall from that first session, you were over here. Right. And so your you car. Kind of come back over. Exactly. Your car is still facing this grass <laughs> part. So right. you have to correct and turn back and then turn back. So all the momentum of the car is shifting. Mm -hmm. And just the act of turning back the other way right. you're losing that time so this was awesome right here hit that apex real clean set you up perfect nice and straight down that back back section that last cone uh, that you hit you start turning mm -hmm. in nice and wide a little later <coughs> which Again, I think is what you're supposed to do for a front wheel drive. Yeah, and for these big sweepers. So I come pretty close. Missing the water again. Missing I mean, water. the water's there, but that was almost your apex today. Right. Or that day. Right. Coming out. That one's weird. That's so weird because I never know where to go. Like, I don't want to go all the way over to that side. But maybe I should, I don't know, because then you gotta come back, it's really quickly come back over to the opposite side of the track. Right. Set yourself up for that right hander. Where that cone is, I mean, it's, it's so hard to tell, but like if you were almost mowing the grass right on this side, you could come around 
and maybe just should, set yourself yeah. up a little bit better. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, maybe I just needed to be. If I was like hella fast in that section, then it would make sense to go really wide. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's definitely something to try next time. Like, be conscious of that. Sure. Try it. See, see, does it set you up better for out here? It may, because you could come, come in and then go wide, come back in. You missed that apex by a little bit. You were definitely closer than what you had been in the first session, but right. I think there's some time to be gained there. And then this one again, you missed are this off. pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, that definitely throws off this section, um, you know, compared to all the other times. Because especially right here, the end of it, I think, was really a big uh, mess up for this. Because I probably could have shaved more time off this lap than with that section. But that whole back stretch was really not... Well, it's you, almost like you missed that first one. And then, and then you're overcorrecting from there. Right. And so you've already lost time on the last section be just because you're overcorrecting from the first right because then yeah you see this last one here how you were off and we already saw your miles per hour was lower, lower. than mm. the fastest lap of the second session so it's right. you know you think like this is probably a good point to talk about um like torque and horsepower and all right. that like of course all those numbers matter of course they do but everyone's like oh if i just have a torque your car i can pull myself out of it well that's great but it's all relative because if you're racing another car right. then yeah if that torque can help you gain something back a little quicker maybe that car in front of you is slowing down or messes up somewhere too so that torque and horsepower that you may have can help you catch back up but if you're doing time attack, like Trav is doing here and we were doing that day, it's all about momentum. Right. And if I have the torque and I have a good line, then it just adds on to having a better lap time. Exactly, you just keep adding that time on. Whereas- so you're having a crappy line and then, oh, my torque will pull me out of it. Well, that's all relative right. because you're, you've are you already lost the time. Right. You're not gaining it back. Right, exactly. So oh. it's all about that momentum and keeping your revs high. Uh, they talk about it in karting where you have no gears and it's all about being smooth and steady and keeping the path of least resistance, turning, not having as much steering input. And, you know, with time attack, I mean, that's it, man. If you're racing other cars, horsepower, torque, all that, yeah, that's great. That can really help you to catch back up with someone. But um, yeah, it's all about your line. It's all about using the gas and the brake and using the brake as little as you can. Right and really doing as little steering input as you can. Right, you steer and then you come back. You don't keep... Right, you don't want to be sawing the wheel. Right. Like, just nice little movements as, as, as smooth as you can. Right, so that last turn I kind of messed it up because there was some tire squeal. Um, if you really oh, listen, yeah, yeah. You'll hear it, and so it, I, um, it ruins kind of my straight here. What did you, what mile per hour do you get I think up to? I 95 here. Yeah, 95, so. I just start breaking. Only one mile per hour less, it's not like that's crazy, but it is less. And you hit that one pretty good. Pretty good. I think the second session was better there too. The uh, first session, it looked like you were probably doing pit out, <laughs> so you did much better than the first. Like, where's he going? <laughs> and then this one came down to 153. 153. So each session he improved, and what more can you ask for, man? Right. Next time we go out there, what do you think? 151s. I, I think to be a little bit more aggressive, I would like to do one, I guess depending on the, how what the car is set up for, but 140, Whoa! under <laughs> under 150, how's that? How about 150? 150, but under would be awesome. You're right, 149.999999. That's, that's the target, you yeah. heard it here. He's, <laughs> he's doing it, we'll hold him to it, so. Uh, I think it's some sticky tires. Sticky tires, well, probably a new clutch first. New clutch would be <laughs> But uh, 
Thank you all so much for watching. I, I really enjoyed doing this actually. This we should fun. try yeah. to do this more. So yeah. uh, thank you for watching, comment, let us know if you enjoy it. Yes, and, uh, and please like, share, all of that stuff. And do it. Help us out. This yes. is how we can keep doing this stuff. We need your help to keep building on the Civic and keep going to track days because we are not wealthy. So please. <laughs> right. And this shit costs money. <laughs> so yeah, no, this, this definitely helps us out. Thank you so much for watching. We want to get back out there. I want to get my turn too. Mm -hmm. See you next time.